Hi, I'm Victoria Walsh from the Chatelaine Test Kitchen, and I'm going to show you how to make a picture-perfect turkey. Start by preheating your oven to 325. To prepare your turkey, first you want to remove the giblets and the neck from the cavity. Set them aside for gravy or discard them. Then rinse your turkey with cold running water inside and out. Pat your turkey with paper towels until it's nice and dry inside and out as well. Then you want to stuff your turkey. Place it in a large bowl and loosely pack your stuffing because it'll expand as it cooks. Also stuff the neck a little bit with stuffing as well. Next you want to tuck the legs under the skim flap if there is one or truss. Cover the opening where the stuffing is with a little piece of foil just so that the basting juices don't sog out the stuffing. Next you want to smear your turkey with butter all over and then sprinkle with seasonings and salt and pepper. Then tuck the wing tips under the bird and then place your bird breast side down in the roasting pan on a rack. Then you want to create a tent with two large pieces of foil, sealing the foil to the edges of the pan. Now you're ready to roast your turkey. Slip it into the oven and it should roast in there for about three hours. Once your turkey is roasted for three hours, you want to remove it to a heat proof surface and remove the foil. Next you want to turn your turkey so it's breast side up. Use tongs or cover your oven mitts with plastic bags. Be careful not to touch the roasting pan. So stick it back in the oven and roast uncovered for about an hour and a half until an instant lead thermometer inserted into the thick part of the turkey comes out at 180. Once your bird is roasted, you want to remove it to a cutting board and loosely cover it with foil. Let it stand for about 15 minutes. Now you're ready to carve. Slice around the skin, around the leg, pull back the leg, loosening it from the joint. Then you want to loosen your wingtip, pulling back and popping out the bone, and cut through the joint. Then slice along the breast parallel with the breastbone, pulling off nice, even slices. Once you're done carving your turkey, it's ready for the table. For more side dish and stuffing recipes, go to chatelaine.com slash recipe file.